All right, folks, welcome back to the channel, First Responder Golf. Well, we're trying to bring awareness to mental health issues for first responders and how I use the game of golf and the, and the First Responder Golf Foundation board uses the game of golf to get first responders out on the golf course to decompress and recalibrate. Anyway, this series, I'm excited to try something different for the channel. It's a series of how long, or excuse me, how many rounds will it take me, and how long, pretty much, to birdie all 18 holes out here at my home course, Falcon Lakes, in the Kansas City metro area. So, I'm going to film all 18 holes today. If I hit it out of bounds and I have no chance for the birdie, I'll just talk to you like I am now and say, well, I'm done with this hole. And so when I X out a hole, then the next time I film, I'm only filming the holes that I still need to birdie. So I wonder how long it will take me. Let's see. Comment below. Tell me how long you think it will take to birdie all 18 holes. A couple of these holes out here are nemesis for me, so it might be till the end of the season. It might not even happen, so we'll see. But I'm excited to try something different for the channel. And uh, we're also going to have more challenge matches on here with first responders and cops versus firefighters. And so I'm excited for the, the year ahead in 2024 for what the foundation is going to do. Um, the tournament that we host to raise money to do the things we need to do. Anyway, thanks for watching. Love you all. Stay self-aware. All right, folks, let's see how I get this series started. Duck hook, it's in play. That's horrible. All right, folks, have you ever just got up to the tee box and I was hitting the driver pretty decent on the range and I said, oh, I'm gonna use this, this uh, mini driver and then I hit it like crap, but it's in play. That's the positive thing in this series is I'm in play to still get a birdie opportunity on this par five. It's a short one. It would have been beneficial to get, you know, down there 250 and uh, have a chance for the birdie that way, but there's always a way to get a birdie. All right, folks, bad drive, 268 yards left to this pin. So I'm debating what I want to do here. All right, I hit my three degrees hybrid, or my three wood hybrid. It's dialed to like 15 degrees, so get down there as far as I can. All right, I hit her good, folks. Ride that wind. All right. All right, folks, here's what I got left. It is a front pin, not the middle. So these greens are airified. So that might affect me making birdies today. So uh, anyway, we'll stay tuned. It might help my putting. Oh, did it hit the hole? <laughs> went right by it? Okay, nice. Brian, retired Chief Nye, what'd you say? Hitting hope? Hope today. It's in the green. <laughs> All right, here's what we got with today. It's in the green. So that it is what it is. It's necessary. It is exactly right. Hit and hope. Here we go. I told them earlier this might help my putting. <laughs> you can blame it on the green. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Out here. Yeah. I love it. Uh -oh. Extra footage. <laughs> well, I didn't birdie hole one. It's a friendly par five. It's only like 480 yards. It used to be a par four when it first opened. They added a tee box and made it a par five. Um, from the tips, it's like 500 yards. But anyway, uh, as you can see, hole number two here is uh, narrow driving. But the pin is accessible to get a birdie looking at it right now. So, all right. Just do that the whole day, Brian, with everything. I know, I lose a little distance, but it's more than a plan. You don't spin. Good ball. Thank you. Yeah. Stop the flip. Yeah, so it's basically as I'm rotating, I'm just holding the face.
126 if you can see that to this pin All right, 126 to this pin. I'm gonna have to hit the little choke down nine iron. It seems like it's a one club win today, right now. She's up in the wind, but hopefully this club. All right, it was good. I got a, I got a pretty good birdie opportunity here, folks. Except for putting on these greens. It is what it is though. All right, there's where she ended up there. <laughs> that came off two different ways. All right, on to hole three. No birdies on one and two. Can't cross those off yet. And, and this one into the wind. It's a back right pin placement today when you're watching the fly over here and it's gonna be a, a tough one to birdie. So, hey, it is what it is. This is gonna be a fun series. See how long it takes me to get done during this golf season. All right, folks, I got, it's about 135. I got an eight iron here. I'm gonna put it back a stance, try to punch it through this wind. I got another chance for birdie, boys. That's what this, that's what the video's about is birdies. Or, wait a minute, good. trying to make them. It's slow birdies. Brian says it's a slow video so far, but I've had birdie opportunities on every hole. Then you got a putt. Well, I guess if I'm hitting from the fairway, say shot three and a par four, that's a birdie opportunity too. <laughs> Gus from the gods, Romy. <laughs> Woo! Hole three, X off. All right, folks. It probably bounced off a hole there because I'll be honest, I pushed that putt a little bit. So, hey, that's golf. You're, uh, you don't hit them all perfect every time. So, anyway, hole three is off the board. Let's see if I can get a few more today. All right, folks, into the wind for the next two holes here, four and five, two, three, four, and five is into the wind normally. Uh-oh, stay in so I can have an opportunity for birdie. Go hit the path. Huh? <laughs> Drive on, this hole wasn't so good, so we'll see what I can do with it. This pin is accessible though. Uh, it just depends about my lie up here. I don't think I hit the car pad to the right, but anyway, let's see what I got. I think I'm right next to the pad looking at it right now. So I do have a chance, probably gonna be about 150 out. I'll show you where it's at here, here, here in a bit. Yeah, there's my ball next to the cart path. Pin is directly over that tree, and the wind's in and to the left. All right, gonna have to go probably a little bit right over this tree. I'm gonna clear it. It's just the wind's gonna bring it back left. Got an eight iron. All right, got another, got another look at it. All right, folks, got another look at it. That's rare that I hit four greens in a row in regulation. So, hey, as you know, in this game, things can turn on a dime. So just enjoy it while it's happening. All right, see you on the green. Oh, I need the right hop. All right, folks, again, you know, these greens with the, with the air, airification, it's uh, it is what it is. So I think it helped me on hole three, get the birdie on that one. I think it, it didn't let it break and then the wind took it, but that's golf. So on hole five, it's par five, but it's into the wind. I'll take that right now, shamble. Yeah. 
She should run even though it's into the wind. Think you got him? It's getting yeah. hot in this. Hey, think you got him? I don't know. He hit his pretty good. There you go. Yeah, a little off balance, struck well. What do you think of the cart cam? Make comments below. It allowed me to talk about my shots and just have interaction more with you, tell more first responder stories. And uh, I know when I watch videos, people have a cart cam in there. It's fun listening to them talk and, and go from there. <laughs> Brian and I are so close together here. <laughs> what, what are you flexing about? In the battle of the old guys, I got him by six inches. I don't know if they can see it. Maybe they can, watch out. Yeah, he got me. <laughs> By about two feet. Well, two. that's what I say, six inches. Oh, so. yeah, really? All right, folks, I'm 257 out. I'm just going to lay up with a seven iron and wedge it in. Layup. All right, good layup. All right, Chief Nye, retired. How many years? 33. So what's what's golf mean to you? What's it what's it do for you? So How does it help you? golf for me is a time when I can get away from work, and I don't think about work at all. I just think about playing golf, and so that keeps me in balance to get my mind off of the grind, day in and day out work stuff that's going on, the issues that may be going on at work. I can kind of get away from that out here, and it it, it really it helps me tremendously. It really does. All right, good. And uh, what are you gonna do in retirement? Play more golf? Yeah, I play more golf. Uh, <laughs> not have to worry about going into work anymore. Um, you know, if I want to take off and, and, and go for three weeks or a month somewhere, I will. That's gonna be great. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you, man. All right, there's the layup. It's kind of on a little down slope to this pin right over the bunker there. All right, folks, I got 102. I'm gonna go with this pitching wedge. All right, front of the green. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. It went, it grabbed part of the hole. All right, on hole six. Got one birdie through the first five holes and I've had birdie looks, at least putting, on every hole so far. So, all right, hole six. Beautiful golf hole, bunkers line the fairway as you're seeing in the, in the flyover here, so. That'll work over there. You and me? All right, good. Still in play. Wasn't the greatest move through the ball. I stayed with the hands, but that's golf, man. Be an athlete, have fun out here. All right, I got away with that uh, tee ball, but I was afraid of taking it left because there's no rough over there to stop it on this hazard line. But again, it's out of bounds to the right here. So uh, this is, Visually, my favorite hole at Falcon Lake. So the bunkering, uh, it's a tough hole. This is one that if we're talking about, might take me a while to birdie. This might be one of them. So let's just say six, seven, eight, and probably nine, and then 12, 14. So there's about six to seven holes out here that are gonna be tough for me to birdie. I birdied them all over time, obviously, but I'm doing this, this video, obviously. So let's see. See how we do here on this approach. All right, right here on the edge of this bunker. To that flag. I'm gonna see what my stance gonna be like here. Gonna be a little tricky. All right, let me see my stance here, people. This is gonna be fun. I think I'm gonna have to grab the eight iron, do a little punchy. All right, I'm bringing both the eight and nine back up here just in case, having a choke down on this. 
punch it and run it up there. Get down. You're on. All right, Slopey, the Sandy Greens are stopping that one. It's not really a good birdie opportunity, but out of that stance, I'm happy with where I'm at. So let's see if I can make a, how should we call it, a Plinko, Price is Right uh, birdie here and get hole six knocked out of the way. All right, folks, here we go. <laughs> plinko, Plinko, or oh, that's Slinko, right? From the, it's fun for the boys and the girls. Slinky. Slinky. Clear that hill though, and then it will run. Hill. Missile. You're using the missile? I'm using the missile. Oh, Rich stepped right into the shot tracer. That's the butt tracer. <laughs> hey, you'll just have to draw it around his dad. All right, I didn't hit that one great to get it over this hill here, as you see. It was the three hybrid. Thought the downwind would help, but this is the look I got. That bunker is actually a deception bunker. All right, folks, I'm 155 this upslope it's a middle pin so i'm just worried about getting to the front it's like 146 of that and it's downwind so i'm gonna hit this nine iron and try to get to that front and maybe the wind will carry it more <laughs> try it at it now nah, it's behind it hey it did what i thought it would got up in that wind and went and especially out of the rough so all right, folks, I did in fact did not, I hit the green, but it bounced over. So six out of seven, but it was what I wanted to hit. So, all right, I got to try to chip this in. Would I normally do that in a regular round of play? Probably not, but. All right, no birdie on hole seven, but it's in give me range, especially on these greens today. And Brian made it anyway, left-handed. Backwards with my wedge. With his wedge, backwards. All right, folks, this is the next day. I'm playing another round. I didn't feel like filming because it's like 25 mile an hour winds. And uh, I birdied hole seven. So hole seven is off the books. So right now I got three of the 15 holes off. So hopefully the rest of this round, I can knock a couple more off. And then I'll do another video when the weather's not so windy and uh, probably I didn't want to do what these strangers were playing with, but they're, they're cool guys. So anyway, All right, folks, we've hit the wall with a slow group in front of us. We'll see how this affects me with the way I'm playing. So, but I'm still going to be aggressive, go after birdies. And, you know, maybe that's the recipe is because I get a little too conservative on the golf course. Oh, shit. I'm hitting a seven. There's your problem. It's only 155 to cover the front end of your reach. But the wind's in your face. It was like this when I threw it up. <laughs> hmm, I'll be your caddy next time. Uh -huh. You caddy for him? And your daddy if he needs me to be. You don't need me to be your caddy or daddy? No. Shit, that'd be a good series. I'll be your caddy. You ain't my daddy. But that could grow into that. No, it couldn't. I'm not having you on my dental plan anyway. <laughs> oh. I know. It's on a slope like this. I got excited. I'm not gonna lie when I when I hit it. Look at the pace, dude.
All right, folks, you can see how windy it is today. Downwind on this hole. Thanks to, to our veterans, the POWs, and missing in action. Out here, and that's you staying intact. Feeling real. Looks good. It'll be all right over there. With a blower on the green, blowing fan. <laughs> oh, 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 camera, camera. <laughs> All right, that's two swings with that three hybrid as far as off the tee that didn't come off like I wanted. Uh, I was, I, I've been hook, duck hooking it left, and so I've been, you know, that little push swing with it. But it's in play both times so far. So let's see if I can have a birdie opportunity here on uh, hole nine. All right, there's my push. Should have clubbed down. But anyway, here's what I got. It's going to be hard when I get up and over, but at least it's a wedge coming in. Got a pitching wedge here. This stance is going to be something else here. <laughs> I got a very look. I got a birdie look. That's what today's theme is, right? <laughs> you know, the old saying is you'd rather be lucky than good. I was lucky there. Sprinkled with a little bit of good there. Anyway, I got a decent birdie opportunity on hole nine when I was in a not a good position. I thought I had one of the hardest holes for me off the books. <laughs> All right, folks, I picked that ball up because this is a birdie video. Plus, Sandy Greens. Man, I thought I had that one. Knock this hole off that, off the list so I don't have to keep filming all these holes. <laughs> all right. All right, folks, man, I'm having fun doing this video. I, like I mentioned before, I think it's making me be more aggressive uh, to I'm too conservative at times out of the golf course, and uh, you know, especially out of that bunker shot, I would I wouldn't normally uh, be that aggressive, and I probably would have maybe laid up, especially in a tournament or something. But anyway, eight of nine greens that rarely happens for me. type guy or less so anyway hope you're seeing that in my engagement with you how much fun i'm having make this video more of my personality coming out so all right on to uh, the back nine see how we can do all right folks into the wind on this one just right into our face oh man i'm not getting a birdie this hole I think it's in that backyard. Wowzers. So when we get up there and it's out of bounds, obviously I'm not filming this hole. <laughs> that was a wowzer shot? That was a wowzer one. <laughs> Woo! That was for sure an ugly swing. I think it's in someone's backyard. I saw it bounce, but uh, hey, that will help shorten this video, I guess. Instead of all 18 holes at once, you, whenever I do something like that, then I don't have the video. But anyway, wonderful day out here with retired Chief Nye, Captain Brian. You've seen them both on the channel. And I hope the mission and first responders see this, but just the general public of the things that we see stick with us. It's not normal for me to see someone, when I walk in on a suicide, that they've blown their face off with a shotgun. I've seen that a couple times. That's just an example. So my point is, it's not normal for us to see that. And that's the type of stuff I want to bring awareness to, that we live society's trauma. We take that home with us, put it in the back of our head. We move on with the day after we run something like that and then, you know, try to be normal. All right, there's my ball there. I got to keep off their grass. 
I believe that's it. I can't tell the orange bottom part of it, but there's their sign. Gonna respect their wishes. All right, folks, let's get off that hole. On to hole 11. It'll be downwind today, so it'll be a decent birdie chance. For me, I would think. We'll see, you know, how the tides in golf can change quickly with, with uh, just one bad swing. So now I'm not as confident as I was on that front nine with, with swings. Even though, you know, I didn't make some great swings, they ended up in okay spots, not some backyard. So anyway, that's over with, okay, right here. You're hearing me, it's over with. And let's start right here, get a couple more birdies on this backside so the next video is not as long. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is fun. I'm having a good time. Is that the Elvis swing? That's the spin out. Can I just hit from you, where you just hit? Yeah. All right, here we go, folks. Oh, yeah. Get down. All right, it's down. It's good drive. All right, I thought I'd share with you me, Richie, and Brian, and four other people made a trip to Bandon Dunes, and you can go back and watch those videos. And I'm gonna give my synopsis for any of you that come across this video of what my favorite courses are there. So, my number one is probably Bandon Trails. I just like that setting in the trees. But a close behind is Pacific Dunes. You can't beat the setting next to the ocean. I'm trying to decide whether it's Old McDonald or Bandon Dunes. And the reason I say that Bandon Dunes might have been a better experience if the weather wasn't not so good that first day, but it was a great experience nonetheless. So I'd say they're a tie, three and four, Old McDonald and Bandon Dunes. Sheep Ranch is my last fifth, and uh, we did the preserve, and that's a wonderful part three course, and if we get back out there, I can't wait to play shorty. So anyway, thought I'd share that with you. All right, folks, I got 75 yards straight into the wind. Gonna hit a 54. Hit it, Wynn. All right, thank you. I didn't read that right. About the lakes, their lawn care business they run and everything. Oh, really? Ah, he made it! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I told you, you had a nice play Oh, Richie got the birdie for me, oh, darn it. Nice. All right, no birdie on 11 for me. Hold 12 is gonna be into the wind pretty good. So I gotta come up with a good drive there. He, he's got one. So Brian, besides these slow golfers in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen him on the channel before. Captain Brian Taylor, how long you been on Kansas City, Kansas Fire? 30 years. 3-0, how much longer are you going? Five. Five? Ah, oh, I know, right? We'll, we'll see, but. Yeah, I, it, as of now, five. All right, so what has the foundation slash the golf with the foundation meant for you? Well, when you started this and reached out to me for, you know, what the ideas were gonna be, you know, I was supportive of it. I really didn't, you know, personally, I, I was just trying to be supportive. It really didn't, I didn't think much about it. But after some of our retreats, and especially the last retreat we went on, it really hit home to me about, you know, what being outside and being with my friends and being golf does to take away the stresses of everyday work. You know, the things that we see, the things I take home, I've learned from you to take home to my family, take home to my wife and kids, you know, and stress them out. So it's just, it's given me a different mindset on the way I try to deal with things. 
golf helps you in that mindset, you think? It helps you relieve that stress? Sometimes golf causes stress too, but you <laughs> it know, it's, mean, it's part of the game. No, I I'm joking. you get pissed playing chess too. So. Correct. That's just my, my <laughs> uh, competitive nature, you know. But no, as a, as a general, yes, golf helps me relax and, and you know, I enjoy my time out here, even though sometimes I don't act like I do. I right. do. Love you, brother. Love you too. And it usually needs to do it every Lost it. Hey, no one's watching me. I lost it. All right, I need to not see where my ball goes all the time off the club face, but here's what I got coming in. I'll get you a yardage before I hit. All right, sucker pin back there. 135. Just a little in, but I'll choke down on nine and Ah, look at it, it hit one of the holes, didn't it? <laughs> Take care of the course, folks. Oh, Nellie! Nellie, she's not here, she's in, she playing in Phoenix? All right, I gave it a look anyway, from that distance, so. All right, on to hole 13, so par five. The wind might affect today, but we'll see. All right, folks, gave it a little bit of a scare there on that putt. Got a little bit of a drive here down to hole 13 tee box, so I thought I'd talk a little bit more about what the channel's about. And first of all, thanks for the support for the people that have keep tuning in or come across the channel, watch the videos because that money that now that I'm monetized that we would make goes back into the mission, which is to bring awareness, first of all, to the mental health side for first responders. It's been talked about a lot for military and it's not talked about enough for first responders. So having said that, I use the game of golf, started a foundation, started this channel, which led to a foundation to pay for first responders to get on the golf course. We go on a couple retreats. Well, we're gonna start going on a couple retreats a year, but we mainly go to this one in Phoenix uh, in February, get away from cold weather and, and get people out on the golf course and have fellowship. So anyway, yeah, so that's, that's it so far. Just wanted to share that. All right, Rich, you guys don't even look for this ball. Remember, you guys were looking away last time and I hit a good one. It helps you see it. It's fine, folks. That's probably what the other one did. <laughs> All right, I'm 263, winds blowing to the right. I'm gonna try to get up as close as I can with this hybrid. That's a good miss hit. It's right at it. It didn't come off hot like I wanted, but but like you heard me say before, you can't hit them all perfect, especially, you know, us amateur golfers. Even the pros don't hit them all perfect. If, if I remember right, Jack Nicklaus said he's, during his round of golf, he probably only hit six of them kind of how he envisioned during a round. So imagine that. You're playing this game, in essence, for the misses. Uh, look, Rich is shot here, he put it, that's a good thing to see right before I hit. All right, so I'm 61 yards out about. That's what I was hoping for. Summertime couldn't do that. Yeah, that run up little pitch couldn't happen in the summer out here because this zoysia uh, would grab it, but since it's kind of still dormant until say May 1st ish, then you can play that type of shot. But I got a birdie look at it, and that's all you can ask for, and that's what this video is kind of about, right? So here we go. Always clean your balls, right?
Dirty balls. Oh! oh! She swallowed it! 30. That's two on the day! Two, two! Two for us, two, two, one. two, two. One. How'd he, I haven't seen him one, get one today. One, two, five. He's got point two five. Oh yeah, point two five. One. Okay. He's trying to earn, you gotta earn your parties. <laughs> hey, hey, otherwise that's hey. a two stroke penalty for using your players. That, that, that tells you how desperate he is. Yeah. He's desperate, man. He's desperate is the rule of the okay. game. You're out here with, he, well, cause we're in a PGA event right now. Yeah. It's a sanctioned well, event. That's a two stroke penalty. Hey. It's very cause simple. Cause we're in a sanctioned <laughs> event right now. I thought we were out here with friends. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, we gave you 2.25 credit. All right, back to storytelling. With me being a firefighter, you know, I remember one of the one call I ran early on in my career with one of my classmates from the fire academy. Um, the pumper had ran a car fire, and so we went. We were on the truck company, so we went after the fact because the coroner wanted us to get the body out of the vehicle because they found a body in a burnt vehicle on the floorboard. So me and Sean, his nickname's Pluggy, go uh, get in the vehicle. We get gloved up all the way to our up here and turn the body over because the coroner wants to see if it's a boy or a girl because the back whole backside is burnt like burnt roast coming out of the oven. If you can imagine that. So the smell and then we flip him over and you see a wiener and the corner goes, yep, it's a boy, you know. He sees that stuff all the time. Maybe, you know, he's used to it, but six months on the job, you know, shit. You know, that's something that's still with me. Now, does it cause me to have nightmares and some other, you know, bigger effects from PTS? No, but what it's done, it's called allostatic load, is those things over time have built up that I didn't realize was building up because I never expected that to, I, you know, you just get back to the firehouse and you joke around and you just move on. And lo and behold, that allostatic load, the cumulative effect of it over time is in your brain. It causes issues and it did for me. And that's the goal of this foundation is to keep bringing awareness to that side of it. So people don't die by suicide is the main goal, obviously. But, you know, if you can have a better life, a mental life, then, hey, that's what this is all about. Hey Rich, I want you to go first because your birdie was better because you use someone else's putter. So that's hard to do. Well, it is hard to do. And yeah, it's really hard to do when it's a And it's hard penalty. to do with one hand. Yeah, one handed. It's got a little bitty grip on it. <laughs> it's, it's very hard to do with a two stroke penalty to make birdie. That's impossible. All right, folks, that's what it's about here. You know that advice you was giving me earlier? That's another two stroke penalty. Oh, yeah, you've been asking and saying and crying. You were giving me advice. I'll take a two stroke penalty on my par. I'm not begging for birdie. All day long, you've been giving me advice. Every time it's two strokes, dude. Yeah. Every time. What do you guys think? Got a 96. You ain't got a birdie, though. Rich, how's your two birdies feel? Amazing. Amazing on the day. I just want to make mention, too. I want to make mention too on that last tee ball. That one guy, God, he only out drove me like by 10 yards. I hit a smoothie. And you're 10 years older, right? 10 years. <laughs> I guess it's a yard a year. Wow, he's growing, he's growing age. Woo! All right. That's a good ball. Hey. I can't remember, hear me, it's right here, it's the remember mic. Remember where that one goes, because we're going to film on this hole. Oh shit, they're gonna have a long drive dick contest or what? Oh! You got to hit one to beat that one. I just gotta beat you. <laughs> you beat me last one. Chief, you think this is going left? Yeah. You gonna try swinging out of his boots? Stop the cars. <laughs> yeah, stop them. Uh-oh, he hit a good one. He came through. <laughs> Did you hear me? I said, left that. All right, Brian hit a good one there. We'll give him that. We'll, we'll measure it off with his wiener. We're gonna have to measure a lot though. He finally picked it up and put it down correctly. Yeah. He's still penalized for that advice. 
Shot three coming up, Brian. I didn't give him that advice, I gave him. All right, folks. Hope you enjoyed that banter there on the tee box. Um, you know, when I film these videos, I we try to do that stuff, but then you worry about pace of play, and we don't have to worry about that today because we're being held up. There's no one behind us, so that's that's good because no one's complaining about the, the cameras behind us. So um, I ran into that several times. So anyway, fun times there, good laughter. Brian's waving his arms like he's an airplane and flew right by, flew right by Richie, but. Uh, all right, he out drove Richie by. The tower's bad at me I didn't request a flyby. 30 yards. Hey, Goose, where's Iceman? I don't know, he's over there. <laughs> he cracked the water. <laughs> All right, got 104 up this hill. The wind's helping that way. So I got a 54. It's a little bit of a push, but got to go up. Okay. One of the best truck balls, but hey. All right, long one there, folks, long one. Look at that wind take it. You know, on these air fight greens with sand on them, you, get to, you have to send them to Pound Town and, and get them through the sand and the bumps. And But anyway, I also wanted to share that if people didn't know, I'm a one-man show for the most part when it comes to filming these videos. You know, the guys help me. They'll push the button. I don't make enough money off this channel to pay a videographer to come out and follow us around and get better banter and, and different angles. So I do my best. I hope... Hope you people enjoy these videos that are watching. Um, I love showcasing golf courses when I travel. Uh, we'll be going to Myrtle Beach at the end of April to do some networking with a TikTok YouTuber, not YouTuber, excuse me, Instagram. His name's Jerry Carey, go give him a follow. And uh, I'm looking forward to connecting with him and seeing how he can help the foundation grow. He had a friend who was a firefighter who's died by cancer and that's something else we're bringing awareness to because firefighters are dying by cancer at a high rate now, especially the 9-11 firefighters from New York and whoever came in there and helped dig through that rubble. Uh, so it's presumptive cancer considered dying on the job. And that's great for us first responders because of the stuff that we get into. Uh, again, living society's trauma. All right, they're saying 190 three but it's downwind downhill so i'm gonna go 173 i got a seven iron right now thank you all right that was the club for the most part just not getting much spin with the sand on the greens Had to send that one to Pound Town just to get it there. Oh yeah, the wind died down too. It's not gonna go as far. I gotta learn that fucking swing. <laughs> <laughs> Aim in the breath. It wouldn't hit good. You okay? You need some volume after that seizure swing? If that's your mill. Gosh, she's hit hard, but hard in the weeds. So this hole today, folks, is downwind. And that's gonna take getting there in two out of my hands, but hopefully I can find it in the weeds and just punch it back into play. All right, folks, there's my ball. Gonna have to play left of this bunker. I don't know if I can get down to that enough. We'll find out. All right, I got a pitching wedge here. I'm out of, 
I'm out of position, so let's get it back in. All right, it's in a good spot now. Just skirted that bunker. Hey, Rich! Rich, what are you doing way up there? Good drive. All right, skirted the bunker. This pin's up front, so it's gonna be a little touchy shot here, but at least I'm out of the weeds and back in position. All right, 86 yards, downwind. I got the 58. Go! I didn't catch it. All right, folks, I'm gonna chip in for the birdie. <laughs> and I didn't throw it up high like I wanted. Hey. All right, these two boys got birdies, I didn't. My prediction was right. You got your third and you said a two for one, and him. I told I said he was gonna get one. Well, I wasn't the big bird, Brian. I was trying. Yeah. Alright folks, I'm not worried about that hole. I'll get a birdie on that hole to knock it off the list. Like I mentioned earlier, even 15, I don't bury that all that often. It's a longer par 3 down a hill. Um, the one we're getting ready to come to here, 17, it's it's all, it's a great green. Um, it's a beautiful hole. So, yeah, I don't think I birdie this one that often either. So this might take me till the end of the season to get this done. We'll see. All right, about 165, I got an eight iron. Wind's this way. Ah, the wind's got it now. That's in the bunker. All right, folks, I ended up with a double bogey there. That sand is so hard pan packed over there. You know, I can play better than that out of the bunkers when there's sand that helps you throw the ball out. So I tried to play a chippy shot there and just got too much ball or hit it too hard, whatever it was. Anyway, last hole. I've got two holes birdied so far on day one of this uh, series. Let's see if I can birdie hole 18, but looking at this pin placement up here, it's a tough one if you're not in the right spot off the tee box, so. Yep. Thank you. Good drive there. There's these two trees on the right I'll show you when we get up here to the approach shot. I don't think with the wind conditions today that I'm up there far enough to be blocked, but we will find out. I should be able to get some type of wedge up and over them. If not, I have to punch underneath them and do my best. Hope you guys have enjoyed this type of uh, video from me. All 18 holes in one video. Um, I, I've done them in the past where I combine the two nine holes and re-release the two nine hole segments as an 18 hole thing, but that's really when I'm just trying to showcase a golf course that I've traveled to, make it easier to watch. But yeah, so make comments below if you like what this series can be so yep I can get up and over with the wedge so let's see what I can do give myself a good birdie look on the 18th hole get this one out of the way all right folks gotta get up over these trees I'm 115 I got a pitching wedge hopefully this will get back there enough come on win take it that way <laughs> it got back there but it wasn't far enough left Too much borrow, no return. All right, folks, thanks for watching me trying to bring awareness to mental health for first responders, as well as doing this series. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make comments below, please like and subscribe. And uh, so I had two birdies. So I only have to film 16 holes next time. Hole number three is off the books.
and hole number 13. So, all right, love y'all. Stay self-aware. All right, folks, just got done playing. This would be round number two in the birdie series. How long does it take me to birdie every hole at my home course? And I birdied holes seven and 16. Seven's kind of a tough one to birdie, so I'm glad to get that one out of the way. And I had a couple of good opportunities today, but you know, the air fight greens and the wind was 25 miles an hour today. That's one reason why I didn't film. So I'm just marking those off that I've got two more. So when I'm able to film the next, uh, let's see, 14 holes that are left, then I'll, uh, I'll do that bigger video. So, all right, thanks for watching.